Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? So uh, I know it's been a minute since my last vid, but um, I'm back now, and I'm gonna do a Aldi haul today. Um, just came back from Aldi not too long ago, and um, all together came to the purchases came to uh, about sixty dollars, fifty nine seventy three, and um, so I guess let's get started. So I guess the first thing is, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, pause for. Okay, so the first set of items is uh, the garden salad. These can't, these are for 99 cents, which is really good in my opinion, because at Walmart, I see something kind of similar to this, and it's for like th over $3. So this is one of my favorite things to buy at Aldi's. You know, and I bought seven for each day of the week. You know, I usually go to Aldi's on Monday. And uh, yeah, you know, just, it's ready to eat. So you don't even have to wash it. You just cut it, cut it open, and, and boom, you're ready to go. So. This is one of my favorite things to buy at Aldi's and only only 99 cents. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's on sale for even 69 cents. But yeah, so I guess I highly recommend it. Okay, so I figured while I do this vlog, I'll also just put these in the fridge or wherever they need to go. So my one of my other favorite things to buy from Aldi's is the wild caught pink salmon filet. Um, I'm, I usually, I usually, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a pescatarian. I mean, I rarely eat meat, like any form of meat, whether it's chicken or beef or whatever. So, you know, fish is pretty important, you know. And uh, so this, you know, these are like less than $4. I believe, let's check the receipt. And yeah, these are $3.89 at Aldi's. And, you know, usually I think there's like four or maybe even five in here. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite things. It's really quick to prepare too. You just you know, put some seasoning with butter, you know, like garlic salt or like, you know, sometimes I'll put dash or, you know, definitely add, put some basil and, you know, and then even like, even if you want to, even a quicker meal, you put some, you know, have some potatoes with it and you're pretty much good to go. And then, you know, maybe the salad that you guys just saw, and you know, you got a quick meal. So yeah, this is one of my favorite things, pink salmon fillets. And so these were, again, uh, 3.89, And then, um, I usually, my the fridge is actually filled with, with these. I've never bought these until today. Um, this one is like $4.99, I believe, the haddock filet. I don't know what makes haddock you know, more expensive than uh, salmon, but you know I'm looking forward to trying it. And then these are Pacific Whiting filets, and, I, and these have the skin on. But, but all of them are boneless, but the Pacific Whiting for some reason has the skin on. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And the Pacific Whiting costs, let's see here. Oh, where's the, where's the, uh, huh. Oh, Whiting Filet, $3.99. So yeah, $3.99, $3.89, and then $4.99. Yeah, all right. Okay, next up is uh, goat cheese. Uh, I just actually, tried goat cheese I believe for the first time yesterday but um it, I you know I when I tasted it yesterday it, it tasted like cream cheese and I was actually surprised it's you know very salty I, I, I looked up like goat cheese on online and like yeah I think it, I guess I forget exactly why I think it has something to do with like how quickly it expires or something but you know people usually associate goat cheese with being salty because um you know, a lot of salt is added to them, but yeah, it tasted just like cream cheese. So I'm looking forward to trying the goat cheese. And the goat cheese was, uh, let's see, goat cheese, goat cheese. Uh, both of them were at 199. I don't know if that's a good price, but you know, I, it, I, I was pleasantly um, surprised with how it tasted when I tried it yesterday. Uh, and let's see the expiration date on this. Uh, 7, 10, 60, okay, so like July it expires, so, you know, I have some time. And to go along with the goat cheese, I might, I, um, I guess I'm going to have it with, with bagels, because it reminded me so much of uh, cream cheese. I usually don't have bagels, I think I, I saw somebody refer to bagels as like empty calories, and, um, I don't know, I guess, I kind of agree with that, I guess, I mean, but, in the, you know, Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have bagels, uh, I guess, this week. And, uh, yeah, so I guess the bagels were, let's see here, bagels, bagels, bagels. 
Yeah. Man, it's hard finding stuff on this list. Oh, everything bagel, 169. So yeah, not bad. Uh, next up is uh, hummus. Um, spicy hummus. This was $1.99. Uh, not really quite sure if that was, I think it's pretty much a good deal. I mean, 189, I, I think that's around the, the price for hummus. And uh, I got the spicy one. And I usually like to have them with chips. You know, just like regular, like, you know, tortilla chips. And yeah, so I highly recommend them. It's, it's a really good quick snack. Like if you just come from work or something and you're hungry, you know, just have these with some chips. Uh, next up is the double filled vanilla sandwich cookies. These are $1.69 and this, these are like super, super addictive. I'm not really a guy who likes sweet stuff, but I mean, these are like really good, man. You know, usually like, this is a big hit at my house. You know, like usually you, you cannot have like, like I, I try sometimes just to have like one or two, but I end up having like four or five. Like these are really, really good. Very addictive. One of the most addictive snacks. I'm not really a guy who likes sweets, but you know, I try to buy these when I, when I go to Aldi's. Uh, next I have uh, guac guacamole. Um, how much did these cost? Do, 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 do. Guacamole was $2.99, $3 basically. Little salad bar. I think that's uh, Aldi's uh, in-house brand. Uh, yeah, but these, uh, you know, I'm probably gonna have these with some chips too. You would think I bought chips because I bought this and the hummus to go with chips, but I didn't. So I'm gonna have to probably pick up some chips at, at Walmart. Okay, next we have vegetable broth, veggie broth. And uh, this was, this was a dollar seventy nine. Um, Simply Nature. I think that's another in-house brand by uh, by Aldi's. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with these exactly. <laughs> Come to think of it, but yeah, I'll find something. Maybe it'll be in another video. Okay. Next, I have uh, 10 pound russet potatoes. These were a dollar. No, sorry, three dollars and forty nine cents. And um, I, I really like potatoes. Usually, I, I make them really quick. Like I season it up a little bit, put some butter, maybe some olive oil, and just pop it right in the microwave. You know, I know that like people see me, when people see me do that, they're not fans of me putting it in the microwave. They kind of like even kind of grossed out. But I feel like that's the best way to 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 um to make potatoes. And usually after they try it, I can't think of anybody who, who's tried, you know, microwave potatoes and, and didn't like it. It's so fast. It's like, you know, you could pop two in there for like six minutes, 30 seconds. Usually there's a, a potato button on the microwave and it comes out really good. I think it's the best way to, to uh, have potatoes. So yeah. Okay, next I have mushrooms here. I have a uh, baby Bella and then uh, just, uh, yeah, just and just I guess the regular mushrooms. Um, yeah, they're both for a dollar seventy nine, and usually I I have like I usually have it with either uh, I usually make it in an omelet or of like a pasta dish. But yeah, I'm bit, since you know I don't have a lot of meat, I'm a big fan of mushrooms. Uh, next here is broccoli crowns. Uh, these were for a dollar seventy nine. I felt like I got ripped off for some reason. I feel like you, you, you get more broccoli for $1.79, but uh, you know, be that as it may, I usually have these with, uh, let's see, with, with the same thing like the mushrooms. I usually have them with like either an omelet or a, a um, pasta dish. So yeah. All right, and then I had uh, whole grain waffles. Um, these were uh, waffles on here. Uh, this was a dollar twenty nine, ten waffles. Um, I don't know why I bought this because I have a bunch of waffles already, but um, yeah. I also have a lot of maple syrup, so um, yeah, dollar twenty nine, not not bad. And last but not least, here's um carrot cake. Um, I want to spoil myself. I know I said I don't like, I, I don't eat a lot of sweet stuff, but. I don't know. I just I I, I couldn't uh, pass this up. 
I, I like I really like carrot cake. Um, as you can see, it's vegan. And this was um, how much was the carrot cake? Uh, five ninety nine, six dollars. So yeah, I think this was the most expensive thing I got. But um, yeah, maybe I'll have this like, on a special occasion or something. I don't know. But uh, you know, I, I might even review this. But that's basically it. You know, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna try to. And it's been like a few weeks now since my last video. I'm going to try to upload more consistently. But uh, thanks. Uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, like or dislike, you know, whatever. And uh, comment as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace.